knee osteoarthritis, OA, also known as degenerative joint disease, is typically the result of wear and tear and progressive loss of articular cartilage. Osteoarthritis is the most common disease of the joints worldwide, with the knee being the most commonly affected joint in the body. It mainly affects people over the age of 45. What happens in knee osteoarthritis? The degenerative changes. Causes overstress affecting the bone cartilage of the knee that gradually wears away causing inflammation, pain and functional limitation. Knee cartilage that absorbs the shock during activity will gradually worsen due to the excessive loading. The condition progressively becomes critical in the older age due to lack of joint lubricant production. Some of the major changes that occur in the knee joint of a person suffering from knee osteoarthritis include narrowing of the joint space due to wear of the cartilage, formation of bony outgrowths, osteophytes, at the margin of the bone, decrease in production of joint lubricant, pain aggravated with weight-bearing tasks due to friction of both ends bone and further bone erosion. It is most common in elderly people and can be divided into two types, primary and secondary. Primary osteoarthritis is articular degeneration without any apparent underlying cause. Secondary osteoarthritis is a consequence of either an abnormal concentration of force across the joint as with post-traumatic causes or abnormal articular cartilage, such as rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Osteoarthritis is a painful chronic joint disorder that primarily affects not only the knees but also hands, hips, and spine. The intensity of the symptoms vary for each individual and usually progress slowly. Common clinical symptoms include knee pain that is gradual in onset and worsens with activity. Knee stiffness swelling. Pain after prolonged sitting or resting. Crepitus. Signs of knee osteoarthritis are pain upon movement. Early morning. Stiffness. Pain after prolonged sitting or lying. Joint stiffness. Tenderness. Loss of flexibility. Bone spurs. Swelling. Risk factors for developing osteoarthritis include age female gender obesity anatomical factors muscle weakness and joint injury. Evidence-based approaches to the treatment of knee osteoarthritis include non-pharmacologic, pharmacologic, and surgical management. Physiotherapy management of knee osteoarthritis involves the use of heat and cold therapy to enhance relaxation and reduces pain. Pulsed electrical stimulation can be useful to promote the blood circulation. Stretching and strengthening exercises need to be done regularly to maintain the endurance and flexibility. More unloading exercises will be prescribed to prevent further trauma of the knee. Balance training is important to train postural and stability especially as the older adults with impaired balance. Joint protection, flexibility, strength and joint sense are optimized in hopes of reducing joint stresses, decreasing shock impacts to the joint, and maximizing joint movement and alignment patients' education on the need for lifestyle modification. Also patients are counseled to avoid any strenuous daily activity that give us more trauma to the knee joint such as stairs climbing and hill hiking.